Good morning. Ticket and passport, please. Ma'am, could I please have your ticket and passport? Margie, slow down, will you? Look, there she is. It's Nusha. Margie, look at you. You're all grown up. You brought me a present, I hope. How was Paris? Did you see Bruce Lee? What's the Eiffel Tower like? Welcome to Tehran, my dear. We all missed you so much. Let me take your bag. No, I'll do it. Well, get going. Don't keep everyone waiting. I remember. I led an uneventful, peaceful existence back then. The life of an average little girl. I loved eating french fries with ketchup. Bruce Lee was my idol. I wore Adidas sneakers and had two major obsessions, being able to shave my legs one day and becoming the last prophet in the galaxy. If you want to know if your breasts are sagging, stick a pencil under them. If it falls, you've got great boobs. If it stays, you're in trouble. <laughs> if you shook that girl over there, you'd have enough pencils to fill a box. Settle down now. I was allowed to go see him last week. He was in bad shape, just awful. They've been telling me they would release him, but it's been four years already. Don't worry. This regime is on the verge of collapse. It's just a matter of time. Mommy, Marty, give me the head. The revenge of the dragon is a bitter dish, best served cold. Well, let's see how the dragon takes what he dishes out. As future prophet, Imer Jean have established the following rules. Rule number one, everyone shall be well behaved. Rule number two, everyone shall do one good deed. Rule number three, everyone shall always keep their word. Rule number four, each day the poor shall be given one roasted chicken per person. Rule number five, grandmothers will never suffer again. Well, Margie, if that's your plan, you've got yourself your first disciple. Really? You mean it? What do you intend to do so grandmothers won't suffer anymore? Uh, it won't be allowed, that's all. Of course. I should have thought of that. What's going on? I told you. Didn't I tell you? I told you. Do you realize we're witnessing an historic moment? <laughs> he's finally going to pay for what he's done to us. That's right, sweetheart. At last your father will be avenged. The Shah can pack his bags and join his friends in Washington. I don't know, but I'm, I think I, I like the Shah. He was appointed by God. He was, it's true. God told me that himself. God and the teacher, too. First of all, the Shah was certainly not appointed by God. Yes, he was. The teacher said... That's what they want us to believe. But I'll tell you how it really happened. The truth is, 50 years ago, the Shah's father, who was an officer then, wanted to overthrow the Qajar emperor to establish a republic. I will be the Iranian Ataturk. I'll modernize this country and I'll create a republic. But the British got wind of his plans and one day... Hello, hello. Are you positive you want to establish a republic? Wouldn't you much rather become emperor? Me? Emperor? Why, of course. Emperor's better than president. And an emperor has absolute power. Anyway, a great country such as yours needs a strong man, a man like yourself, at its head. Well, that is a good point. Hmm. What's more, we both know full well that the clergy is against the Republic. And uh, <laughs> with good reason, I may add. What would I have to do? Nothing. Just give us the oil and we shall take care of the rest. From now on, I am your new king. Everything that's yours is now mine. Oh, so he was a total idiot. Oh. Well, yes and no. Even though he was a dictator, he did modernize Iran. In a way, I guess you could say he loved his country, unlike his son, who succeeded him. As of today, I am your new king. I am the light of the Aryans. 
I will turn this nation into the most modern country of all time, and I will restore the former glory and splendor of our empire. Yes, the Shah's father was brutal. He even put your grandpa in prison, but his son was ten times worse. What? Grandpa was in prison? Well, certainly. He was part of the royal family. He was a Qajar prince. The Shah's father stripped him of all he had. That may be, but he was in prison mainly because he was a communist. <sighs> My grandpa was a Qajar prince and a communist. Oh, thank God. You're still alive. I was worried sick about you. They were shooting into the crowd. It could have been us. We were right there. Teji and I tried to run away, but we got stopped by soldiers a few blocks up. Those bastards confiscated all my film. We spent hours at the police station. Well, Margie was going crazy. All afternoon she went on and on about the proletariat and the class struggle and that bearded, what's his name, Che Guevara. The one who got shot next to us was just a kid. What is this country? Right now, honey, this country's a shithole. Down! The shop. Here we Down go again. With the shop. Down with the shock. Down with the shock. Margie, Down with go to bed now. Down with the shock. Down with the shock. Down with the shock. 